joining us, we have Reed from Magic Cycle here in the High Country. Thank you so much for being with us today. Yeah, thanks, you're welcome. Appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. Now, you are actually the manager of Magic Cycle, correct? I am. Yep. Fantastic. Well, tell us a little bit about Magic Cycle and what you guys offer here in the High Country. Um, so Magic Cycles has been in business for 20 years. Um, they've been, we've been at the current location that we are, which is in downtown Boone, uh, for 13 years. Um, we do everything from sales to service. Uh, we repair bikes. We, you know, sell things. We give a lot of advice. People were downtown locations, so people come in. They want to know where to eat. They want to know where they should go ride their bike, and so um, we serve a lot of functions. I think. Very neat. So kind of a one-stop shop for information and all kinds of bike equipment. Yeah, exactly. Wonderful. Now, talk with us a little bit about why something like this is so important. You were saying before the show that there aren't a lot of places in the high country that meet these needs. Yeah, there aren't a whole bunch of, there's there's not a lot of places to go to, to get the things you might need to, to ride a bike, but um, Boone is a phenomenal place to ride a bike, whether it's road biking or mountain biking, um, whether it's riding to class or riding to work, there's, um, I think there are a lot of people here who really relate to riding bikes, um, enjoy it for sport or for recreation or whatever, and so, um, yeah, it's a, it's a, I think we serve a, a fundamental, you know, part of that, you know, community, and so it's a, uh, it's cool also that we fit in that downtown kind of vibe. And so, right. Yeah. What well, is a great place to ride a bike? I was just telling Carrie and Reed, I want to get a bike. I haven't <laughs> had one since I was little, but such a great area. Yeah, it is phenomenal. Um, some of the you know highlights are things like Rocky Knob, which is the mm -hmm. mountain bike park that was built in Boone by people from Boone. Um, uh, and it's now a park that's owned by the town of Boone. Um, and so that's a phenomenal place to ride. It's got everything from advanced downhill biking to entry level stuff for kids. There's a little pump track outside that's for, for kids. So everyone can go out there and ride. Um, and then there's new projects too, like the Greenway is going to eventually connect to Todd. So right. um, there's a lot of really cool things that are happening in Boone in terms of cycling. Fantastic. Yeah. I was just telling them both that my boys just got brand new bikes and they go to that bike trail a lot that you were just talking yeah. about. And they love it, so I personally can't get up the heels, but <laughs> <laughs> anyways, but I do enjoy that. So what makes your business so much different than other bike shops in the area? I think that uh, we at Magic Cycles do a really good job. What we try to do is connect with our customers and really build long-term relationships. I don't think that um, Mike, who's the owner, has been in business for 20 years without appreciating who his customers are. And so, um, I think that's something that we really try to do better than anyone else is really connect to our customers and build long-term long -term relationships. Definitely. Very neat. So now, who are the majority of your customers? Um, I, I think we have a little bit of everything, a good sampling of everyone in, in Boone. We have a lot of college students because we're downtown, so it's easy to ride your bike and get a tube fixed while you're in class or something like that. Um, we have people who come up here from all over North Carolina and the country to do rides like Blood, Sweat, and Gears. Um, we have, you know, professors and, um, I mean, ev everyone can be a customer of Magic Cycles, you know, so um, I think that we have a, a good sampling of everyone. Right. Okay. Yeah. What kind of bikes do you guys have? Do you have one that people come in to buy that's more popular? Um, there are probably more some bikes that are more desirable for people to come in and they're curious about and they want to see the, you know what's the new technology what's the new cool thing on the street but um, again just like we have every type of customer coming in we have we sell every type of bike you know people come to us for, for everything um, and so uh, you have to sort of be a jack of all trades in order to to meet all those needs right now I know that there's a process of fitting you to a bike. Mm -hmm. So explain to us a little bit about how that works to, so you make sure that you get the right level and all that kind of stuff. Sure, yeah. Well, I think that uh, that comes down to a knowledgeable staff who can really help you figure out what kind of riding you want to do, um, what you want to get out of it, and then um, you know the bike that's right for you and obviously the size that's going to be right for you too. So um, we have people who, some people know more about mountain bikes, some people know about more about road biking or commuting or touring and stuff like that, but um, combined we all have the knowledge to, to help people find the, the right bike for them and the size that's going to fit them so that they can enjoy riding the bike as much as possible. Right, so is there a height that you need to kind of look at or? Definitely, um, bikes come in lots of different sizes, everything from double extra small to double extra large, and so just like people do, and so <laughs> you do have to uh, find the right size for every person. Um, 
And uh, that can be based most simply just on how tall they are. But then as you get more into, um, you know, everyone has different proportions, leg length and torso length and arm length, and, um, you know, particular biomechanical differences and things like that. So um, depending on, you know, what sort of needs the person has, we can explore all of those different, you know, characteristics to find the right, the right bike for you. Yeah. So they make bikes for all sizes. Yeah, all sizes. Yes, that's true. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. great. Excuse to not go and get a bike. Get some great exercise. Now exactly. you mentioned blood, sweat, and gears. Talk mm -hmm. with us a little bit about how you guys are involved with that. Yeah. So blood, sweat, and gears is an amazing event. I think they celebrated their. Um, I'm going to get the year wrong, but one <laughs> of their. It was a. It was a pretty big anniversary most recently, and so. Um, the event's been around for a really long time. Mike has been a, a sponsor of the event since it first started. Um, we do uh, ride support, so we show up the day before and we help people if there's a problem with their bike. Um, we do SAG support for a certain section of the ride, so we ride behind the riders and provide support. Um, we're, uh, so we do a lot of different things to, to help out and make sure that people have a fun time. Uh, some of us participate in the ride as well, so uh, I guess we see all sides of that. Um, and, uh, and Blood, Sweat, and Gear is a phenomenal event. They raise so much money for the Red Cross uh, in the area. And um, so it's a, it's a really great organization and a great event. And um, they're expanding it. So they're going to have more events in the future. And they're going to support more initiatives and, and really sort of be a, a staple of the, the community. Yeah. Fantastic. So that must bring in a lot of business for you guys right around the time that that's kind of. It brings in a lot here. of business for us. It brings in a lot of business for the community. Um, there is an economic report that was done based on the impact of blood, sweat, and gears. And I think that um, for 2013, the economic impact was over $1.1 million. So wow. it's not just what it does for us. It's what it does for everyone. Lodging and, you know, people eating and, you know, Heck, people buy a second house up here because they want to be able to ride their bike on the course of Blood, Sweat, and Gears. So right. it's really amazing what, what the ride does for, for people. Yeah, and that's coming up pretty soon, too. It's in June. Okay. Um, I think the date is uh, the 22nd this year. But, okay. um, yeah, it's, it is this summer. But it comes up quick, you know, because uh, especially yeah. with the transition from winter to summer here, sometimes can be so quick that before you know it, it's, it's June and you got to put your shoes on and go for a bike ride. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm ready to see some bikers out mm -hmm. with all this. Exactly. Exactly. No, we've had. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. are you guys kind of moving into your busier time of the year now that things are hopefully starting to warm up a little bit? Yeah, hopefully. Um, you know, it is always a slow transition from uh, winter when we are I mean, we are a seasonal business, and so we do have a slower season and an in season. And so, but I think we are starting to see business pick up, and so um, hopefully it'll be a, a a good spring when it's dry. That's nice for us. So, Absolutely. we'll see. Yeah, cross our fingers. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, what can you say are some of the main benefits of biking, whether it's just for fun or for exercise? It's got to be good for you. Yeah, it is good for you. Um, there's uh, obviously health benefits of riding your bike and exercise. Um, you know, I, I'm an exercise science student at Appalachian State. That's why I came here, actually. Um, and so I could rattle off a, a lot of different statistics of why cycling is healthy for you. Um, it's good for the environment. Um, obviously, if you're riding a bike instead of, you know, Driving an automobile that you know cuts down and maybe a little bit of your gas expenses and stuff like that. Right. Um, but uh, and then you know, well-being. I mean, there's there's lots of there's lots of reasons to ride a bike, um, and you can choose whichever one you like. Uh, but you know, the more people ride a bike, I think that's a good thing. Wonderful. Now looking ahead to the future, where do you see Magic Cycles going? Um, well, hopefully Magic Cycles isn't going too far, but, uh, you know, uh, with some things that we're really working on, we want to be a lot more involved in the community, things like Blood, Sweat, and Gears, things like the Boone Area Cyclists, who want to be really involved in those sorts of things. Um, one of the uh, things that's really promising for Magic Cycles right now is our rental shop that's up on Beach Mountain. Um, that's open, that's sort of the, the epitome of our in season is we're open uh, up there on the weekends uh, from June through September. They have uh, chairlift assisted downhill riding, or not chairlift, yeah, you can take the chairlift up with your bike and you ride back down the mountain. Um, and so we have a rental shop up there that does rentals of bikes just like you would rent a pair of skis. And um, uh, we also do repairs on bikes and it serves the whole cycling community up on there, whether it's road biking or or mountain biking. So that's going to be really cool for us. I think that's, it's, we're entering our second season and hopefully that's, uh, that's going to be a big thing for Magic Cycles in the future. Yeah. Very exciting. Yes. Well, it sounds like a great place to stop by, pick up a great bike. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming in to talk with us. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate the opportunity. It was, it was good Absolutely. to get the word out there for what Magic Cycles is doing. Definitely. Yeah. And we will be back right after these messages with more of the Mountain Television Network.